I get asked a lot about how to use ChatGPT. Now, I could be boring and talk about prompt engineering and stuff like that, but I think there are wider, more applicable lessons that are probably useful to a lot of people. The first thing is to know that using ChatGPT or any other AI is a communication skill. This is a big shift in how we talk to computers. We used to talk to computers via coding, uh, programming languages, for example. With the introduction of ChatGPT, we're actually seeing a shift away from the coders back to the communicators. So if you are a leader or a manager or somebody who works with people and can talk to them, you're going to be good at using AI. Because fundamentally, the AIs that we're now using are about language. It's about communication. It's about clarity. It's about being concise. It's about being able to give instructions and to communicate what it is that you want from the AI. And we don't need to do this using complex code or mathematics or anything like that. We use natural language. When I go and train companies, that's always the biggest thing that I need to get across to anyone who is just wary of using AI. A lot of people assume it's going to be complex. And then as soon as they see the chat interface and the fact that it's basically like WhatsApp, you see them light up thinking, oh, I know how to use WhatsApp. I know how to chat on a computer. That's no problem. And then the second thing is getting people over the hurdle of changing how they talk to a computer. So for the last 10, 20 years, we've been using search as the main paradigm. We use things like Google in order to find, retrieve information that already exists on the internet. And that is kind of how we assume we do these things. We've got really good at writing our queries when we want to answer a question in the language that search needs. And that involves stripping out the context. So when I go on Google, I don't necessarily say, hey, what is the best heart rate monitor that works with a Fenix 6 GPS watch? I'm not going to write the whole thing out. Instead, I'll strip it down to the keywords and write best heart rate monitor Fenix. We've all got quite used to talking to computers in this way because of Google. We remove context rather than leaving in context. But remember that using the new AIs is all about communication and good communication requires context. We kind of need to relearn to add the context of what we want back into our conversations with computers. We can give far more detail to an AI because an AI is not looking for information that already exists on the internet. It's able to generate that information for us. And the more information we give it, the more context, the better able it's going to be able to give us a good answer. Far too many people will use ChatGPT, get a bad result, and they'll think, ah, that's rubbish. But at no point have they ever said to ChatGPT what they actually wanted. They didn't specify, this is the end result, I want it this way, this is what success looks like to me. That is a communication skill that we need to build back into how we talk to artificial intelligence. So if you were to ask me how to use ChatGPT, those would be the two major lessons. Using artificial intelligence, that ChatGPT is a communication rather than a coding skill. And because it's about communication, we need to add context back in rather than strip it out as we do with a search engine like Google. If you remember communication and context, you're going to go a long way. What about you? If somebody asked you how to use ChatGPT, what would you answer?